Um, so today was off and I could have used the day but I was in real pain because of the two injuries that I sustained yesterday. So um, could not work much on the bike however I think uh, I can spend some time on it. So what we'll do is we'll install the lock kit and then probably from there uh, we'll take it forward. Okay, so I'll put you guys on a tripod and show you how to install this. First we'll start with the fuel lid. As you can see there is a lot of dust on the fuel tank which is not a problem. So I have found these screws. It's a great idea to actually uh, get the old screws zinged because uh, it's not easy to find all these tiny screws. So let me just tighten that. That's not the right washer on that, but anywho, we'll use it. The job of the washer is to keep the screw in place and also let the tension on. So let's see. Okay. So that is that. This definitely requires polishing. Okay, so that is one key installed. Let's see what else do we have. We have mostly new blocks for the side cover. So, but there is supposed to be a washer which is right here. Okay, so we will install these. So how do you install this lock? Hmm. So the, as you can see the lock has few notches and there are holes cut out in the cover. All you need to do is just make sure they match. Very difficult to do with one hand. Let me try now. Okay, so what you do is you match the notch. Okay, like you can see the notch is matched. Then there is this rubber that needs to go in. Make sure the notch doesn't slip. Let me seat the rubber and then show you guys. So yeah, like you can see the rubber is properly seated. Now put the washer in and then we'll put the nut in. So the nut should start catching the thread. Let's see if I okay. So what what you need to do is you need to tighten this nut using uh, any kind of pliers, so, uh, these pliers work really well. So I've already tightened this and I've also fixed the other cover. So let's now move on to the uh, ignition module and the meter console. Next is the fuel petcock. So we have it here. So I'm going to use these screws because they can be tightened a bit but I'm also going to use some thread locker in this. So it ensures that there is no leak. Thread locker will ensure that the screws don't come undone on their own. 
and also it will ensure that there is no leak uh, and not something that can't be removed in future this is not the thread locker that causes issues okay nice Once again, a dab of thread locker. And we'll place it in this hole. And then we will tighten it using our little screwdriver. That would have been catastrophic. So I'll also tighten this a bit using the impact drill. I mean impact bit. So what I'm going to do now is something a bit radical. I'm sorry I need both my hands. This is installed and this is pretty tight. Let's hope there is no leak from here. Now what we are going to do is we are going to take this is the seat kit. There should be a tank kit which should have come in this but I don't see it. Usually that doesn't happen. These are things which people don't forget. So looks like we don't have a tank kit. So let me see, I might have some in my other. There you go. Tank it. Let's put all the contents of that into this. We got one. What we do is we first install the sleeve into. Okay, that's better. Now need to repeat this for the other one. Okay, that was easy. Then you insert this here. The other one over here. Then on top from here you install these rubber bits. Okay, there is no actual direction in which these go. Now next is these these are really simple, these go onto the chassis. So let me take it for these, uh, just pop into space, the slots, so nothing much. Um, if you look at this part, this has a slot here. And you can see there is a pair of slots here. So all you need to do is just slide it into place. Now it's ready to take the tank in. So let's go ahead and fit that. So the reason why we are going to install this tank on this bike is to make it look little complete and also this would help us. So now that it is seated, I will just seat this properly. Okay. So the tank is seated properly, now we need to 10 inch bolts. So what I meant is not 10 inch actually I meant 10 mm bolts. So 
these go here. Okay. These things usually have issues with the thread, but this bike is a survivor bike. So all that is going to work like it is supposed to work. Okay. So that's the tank mounted properly. Um, actually, there is some issue with the uh, locks. So that is the reason why I didn't install everything. Like basically the meter console wiring is short. Um, I'll either try to fix it or I will try to get a new one. So in the meantime, what we are going to do is we are going to install the bodywork as well to make this bike look a bit more comfortable. So I have installed the tail lamp bushes and here is the tail lamp. So that is gonna go next. So I'm going to thread this through here. And then going to do this so what we need to do now is we need to put a washer and then put a nut so so guys check this out so it started looking like a complete bike again uh, few things are remaining I have to fix the indicators the seat will come tomorrow and front indicators need to be fixed all this need to be wired this as well as this and then I have to get the grips which I could not get today because today was a holiday here um, the bike needs a wash uh, plus the engine needs to be completed uh, so the body panels are fixing nicely there are a couple of tabs missing so I don't think we can uh, fix this like a factory bike but it will look the part this is a problem with Suzuki bikes these tabs break too easily uh, there is a solution there is a fiberglass piece available this all three pieces are one piece in that also you can get metal ones which is like locally fabricated but they look the part so Tomorrow I don't think I will be able to work because I have office but most likely this weekend uh, that is Saturday will start the bike and then that is going to be it and this bike once it starts running it will be reunited with its original owner. Uh, I've never ridden uh, Shaolin uh, I won't say that actually I wrote that about three four times in college um, but yeah this is going to be different this um, engine is more like the Shogun the switches the gear indicator switch is not present so it is just the neutral um, that it shows then the meter also is like a Shogun meter so yeah there is some rust in the front mudguard which we have to do something about we cannot really um, do anything about mother nature uh, she reclaims what is hers and the biggest example now is the virus which is going on and the natural calamities which are coming along with it so yeah uh, the mudguard part is sad um, the silencer is lying there uh, that also needs to be fitted once the engine is completed I'll fit that there is a slight problem in the silencer the muffler is kind of stuck in it and it's partially broken so we'll have to do something about that um, I might have to take it to somebody <coughs> excuse me so they can uh, remove it which will be done not a big problem so other than that like you can see the bike is almost complete um, we need the uh, front meter wiring because the one that came in the bike is pretty bad but let's see uh, if we can salvage some of it so that's about it I hope 
you enjoyed today's video thanks a lot good night